so I'm now officially on vacation and I am going to do a get ready with me for my birthday. My birthday's Friday, but today is Wednesday. I'll show y'all the process of me getting ready for my birthday and it starts today. I'm going to get my nails done today, so I'm really excited about that. So keep on watching. Bye. So I am headed to get my nails done. Got my big face so I don't look crazy out in these streets. So yeah, I'm about to get my nails done and I'm super excited. So today is my birthday! I'm so excited. So we are going to do a get ready with me. I've done this a couple of years ago. I'll put the link in my description. I put a poll on Instagram asking if y'all wanted to get ready with me and majority of y'all voted yes. So let's get started. <laughs> So I already washed my face and put like uh, eye cream and SPF cream on my face and then I also brushed my teeth. So let's get started with the beat. So I'm going to do my makeup just because I know by the time I get home after I get my hair did, uh, I'm not going to have any time to do my makeup and I need some time to do it. So to start off, I'm going to use Becca ever matte poreless priming perfector i've gone through a lot of different primers and i'm not the biggest fan of this one but it is just something that i use to prep my skin because i still have like creasing and stuff in my laugh lines and i'm putting primer on there now also get cracking where my laugh lines are. So either I need to get Botox <laughs> or I need a new primer. But if I feel like all the primers I've used, I still run into the same thing. And I even bake and it's still, baking kind of helps, but it's not like perfect. So yeah, I'm putting it under my eye, putting it on my nose, my frown lines on the top of my head, put it on my eyebrows. You always want to brush up so I always start with my eyebrows and as y'all can see I don't have them done usually I get my eyebrows threaded but I kind of wanted to do a video of how I do my brows when they're not done versus when they are done so I'll probably do another video where my eyebrows have been threaded so yeah let's get started on my eyebrows I use the Maybelline Brow Define and Fill Duo. This is probably my favorite. I've used a lot of different ones. Like if you watch my older Get Ready With Me video, I'll probably put it up in the info bar or in the description. Or I'll do both, whatever's easiest for y'all to click on. Um, and I, I think I use an eye pencil for my eyebrows, but this is like specifically for your eyebrows so it has this tip here and then it also has this brush but yeah like over the years I've used a lot of different ones I 
And if y'all watched my last tutorial, you know I get a lot of my stuff from Walmart. I'll also put my last tutorial up in the info bar in the description bar so y'all can see that. But I say that I get my stuff from Walmart and people steal from my Walmart a lot. When I ran out of this, Walmart didn't have it because people steal. And so I went to Sephora and I ended up getting a brow pencil by Sephora and I wasn't really feeling that one either. This has probably been my favorite so far. What I do is line my brows and I only do the bottom, I don't do the top because I feel like when I do the top of my brow, I end up getting super thick brows and my brows aren't thick as you can see. So I want it to look as natural as possible. Oh, it just broke. It's okay, still got a lot. And then I fill in the very sparse part with this piece. And then go in with a brow brush and I just brush out the pencil and distribute it all through my brows. Same for the other side. I need to tell y'all the color that I use because on camera it looks super dark, <laughs> but I promise it matches my hair. <clears throat> so the color that I use is deep brown. All right, now to carve them out. Um, for the longest, I was using the same stuff that I had in my other video. I know makeup and beauty gurus will like turn in their graves if they knew that I've been using that stuff for forever. Um, but if drag queens can use their stuff for years on end, so can I. So um, I, went, I finally ran out and I went to Mac because the other one was Mac too. Um, so yeah, I went to Mac and I told her I need something to just like carve out my eyebrows. Um, so she gave me Studio Finish Concealer and it's in the color NC45. This is how it looks. So yeah, I just use this to carve out my eyebrows. Sorry, a bot called, so it totally interrupted this. But Y'all know I barely use brushes and I like to use my fingers, so this is what I use to do my makeup most of the time. So I'm gonna do this to carve out. I do this on the bottom of my brow and also the top of my brow. And now I start on the top. And for the top, I just outline the top of my brow. Bring the ends to a point. See, it already looks so much better. Y'all, I don't know how to like function with these freaking sloth talons. <laughs> They're so pretty, but like, ooh, child, I don't know what to do with these. I buff out my brows with a beauty sponge, but this one's super dirty, so I'm gonna get a new one. I bought these to do ombre nails, and they're really makeup sponges, so since I don't have a beauty blender, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Sorry, I'm trying to pay attention to the time. Because I do have a hair appointment at two, so I have about an hour to get my shit together, even though it takes longer, so we'll see. Okay, 
and then I'll just do the top one I put on my foundation. So I'll get started on my eyes, which I should have put my eye primer on. Now, I live for this stuff. This is probably the best eyeshadow primer ever. It's by Urban Decay, and it's called Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And it also has anti-aging. I should put this under my eyes. But this stuff works miracles. Like, it makes everything look pigmented. I'm gonna go ahead and put it. Didn't even realize it was anti-aging. So I'm definitely gonna put it in my under eye. I have those horrible creases. And I don't even rub this stuff in. I just let it dry on my eye like this because, <clears throat> yo, I don't know what's going on with my voice. I brush my teeth, so I don't know why I sound like a man. But yeah, um, I just let it dry because my eyeshadow is just going to cover it up anyway. So there's no need to really like rub it in and blend it in. Just make sure it completely covers my eyelid. All right, so I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Amethyst Palette because it's my birthday, it's my birthstone, and it's my favorite color. So... I am going to use that, that, and that, and that, ooh, and that. Yeah, but I'm definitely going to start off with using this. I'm going to do a cut crease, so, yeah. Let me get a new brush. When I say brush, I mean these things. <laughs> They're cosmetic applicators. I feel like they're so much easier than brushes. But I can just throw them away and grab a new one. Instead of washing them. Sana! Happy birthday! Thank you. <laughs> I went to get some more eye medicine for boss. They didn't, I so right now, I am lining my eye with this dark color that I said I was going to start off with. Come in at you, Cleopatra. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my transition color. I think I'm gonna do that one just because it's a lot lighter, and then I might do that one too. Or should I do that one? Hmm. Maybe I'll do a combination of all three. Yeah, I think I'll start off with the darker pink with this one. Ooh, that actually looks good. But I'm going to do a darker color. Oh, <sighs> Okay, so now I'm going to go in with this darker color just so it's a better transition from the purple to the pink. Yeah, that's better. Now I'm going to go in with this dark color just to give that, that dark purple some life. Okay? So now I'm going to do my cut crease. I'm going to use... Now... I've been practicing all my cut creases and I've been getting compliments lately. So hopefully I do good today as well. Um, but like, I feel like with every single YouTube video that I watch to like teach me how, I feel like they were never specific on what they used as like their cut crease. So like I've used, I've tried primer before. I feel like I looked crazy. Um, I've used like just a lighter color eyeshadow and I still feel like I looked crazy. 
So I stopped by good old Mac and I asked, I was like, hey, so like, what are you supposed to use for like a cut crease? And she said to use concealer. So, cause I've even like, even after I watched those videos that didn't help me, um, I've watched a couple of others that talked about base. So I guess now they make a cut crease base. Um, but this will work cause it's concealer and I can use it under my eyes as well. But I have Fenty for my like actual concealer concealer. So this is Pro Longwear Concealer and it is in the color NC42. This is what the bottle looks like. And it's a pump. So I'll pump out like just a little, I don't need that much. And then usually if I have too much, I'll just put it under my eye. <laughs> So what I do to do my cut crease is I paint my lid like so. And then I've seen people do like that. So then it gives me a base of where I need to start. <laughs> where I need to start carving out. Now I've seen that trick, the trick I just did with my eyelid, I've seen people on Instagram do that. Um, there's this makeup wig and makeup artist that I follow, and she does that all the time. So, I think it's super helpful. And then we'll do it to the other side. So I will let that dry. I'll put the, the rest of the concealer. Bottom. Now, I never do my eyes first. <laughs> I usually do like my foundation, highlighter and everything first, but I feel like to make this part really sharp i should do my eyes first and then my concealer and my foundation and all that good stuff continue putting that excess under my eye no makeup shall go to waste hmm let's see let me do it to the other side and see if I have some inspo because I'm really struggling like I don't know if I should just do ombre to the inner corner of my eye or if I should do dark on both ends and then make it light in the middle I think I'm gonna do an ombre but it's gonna be really short ombre okay so now I'm gonna go in with that color and I'm gonna kind of layer it on top of this purple yeah. Look how pretty that looks. Oh my gosh. It's turning out really well. I'm excited. So then I'm going to go in with this color here. And then I'm also going to do that like in the super inner, inner, inner corner. And what's really great is that I have, um, I have glitter that's like the color of the center one. So I'm definitely going to use that as well. Y'all know I like to be a fairy, so I got to add the glitter. This is probably like one of my favorite glitters just because it is purple. Um, if I can grab it with my claws. There we go. Turn it on its side. So it's by Eye Candy Cosmetics. And uh, this is what it looks like. And it is called Jelly Bean Sugar. It's this gorgeous purple. And it pretty, it goes perfect. So, I am going to use lash glue that dries clear. This came with some rinky dink lashes that I bought like a long ass time ago. And I use it for my loose glitter to put on my, to put on my eyelids. So where am I gonna put this? Hmm. I think 
I'll put it like in the middle. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it right up the middle here. Usually I use my finger, so that's how it looks. You know what? I think I'm gonna put it all over my lid because you can still see all the colors under the glitter. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna glitter my whole lid. I'm excited. It's looking really good, y'all. I'm really happy. <laughs> it looks so pretty. I'm excited. Oh my goodness. Okay. So let's get started on my face. I really like how my eyes turned out, y'all. I'm like really happy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Gonna do some concealer. So I use the Fenty Beauty Match Stick in Wheat for my concealer. Now, like I said, I don't like makeup to go to waste, so this is how it looks right now <laughs> and um luckily my mom knows I don't like to wait waste makeup either so she got me this thing and it helps me dig out my makeup see so now I'll put this under my eyes and this will help sharpen my eyeshadow and then once i'm completely done with this stuff i'll just move on to the mac which i already have here so i actually learned this method from jackie ina shout out to her jackie 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 so it's not so dramatic and drag queeny looking i do my concealer and my contour first and then i put the foundation on top and so far it's worked out for me <laughs> i feel like ray j with this thing like falling further and further back on my head <laughs> all right so now for contour So I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills and I don't use bronzer. I just use highlight. I use highlighter. Now if your contour doesn't look like a mask from Wakanda that Killmonger would steal for the white man, then you didn't do your contour right. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to blend I got a new sponge because the other one just fell on the floor. So, yeah. We're going to blend it out. Yeah, and sharpen up. I like to use the tip of this for my contour. Just because it's thin. And it can get in the nook and crannies of my nose. My face is already coming together. I'm so excited. Now I'm going to put on... Now I'm going to put on foundation. I use Beauty Bakery Insta Bake Aqua Glass Foundation. I use the color 317W. I love this stuff. This is probably my favorite foundation and I've tried NARS, I've tried MAC, I've tried Fenty. I don't, this is it. This is, I love this stuff so much. This is probably my favorite foundation. Um, and I usually just do one and a half pumps. Just put the extra on my skin because it's all gonna go in the same place. My makeup's already starting to crease, so I think I should bake first. So I use Kat Von D setting powder in translucent. And I'll put it under my eye because that's really I, where I only have makeup right now. And I use some brush I got from Walmart. I liked it because it looks like a unicorn. It's by Moda.
So I'm just dabbing it into my skin. If I had a brush, I would be brushing myself, but since I have a sponge, I'm dabbing. Should always make sure to get your neck. Finally looking like a regular human being. Whew, child. It's a struggle for a little while. Next. Blush. Now, I use <laughs> Whirl by MAC as my blush. Because <laughs> I can no longer use it as lipstick. I mean, I guess I could use it as my lipstick, but I have the collab that Aladdin did with MAC for Whirl. There's like a similar color. Let me see if I have it. Is it this one? Yeah. This is the color that I use now in replacement of Whirl. It is called Princess Incognito. So now I just use Whirl as brush. As brush. <laughs> as blush. <laughs> And I have this little thing to dig it out. Also gifted to me by mom. Shout out to mom with the cool doodads and gadgets. So I just brush it out on my, on the apples, on my cheeks. Same for the other side. I'm shocked you can still see my birthmark. I usually always end up covering it up with my makeup. And then I blend that out with a blush brush. Say that five times fast. Blush brush. Freaking tongue twister. And then we will go in with the highlight tool. So usually, y'all, my nails. Okay, so usually I use the Anastasia Glow Kit Palette. Um, but my hairdresser, who I'm going to go see later, the owner of the salon gave me this palette to try out, which I've, and I've been using it for a little while now, and I love it so much. It's by Figgy Cosmetics, um, and it's called Get Your Glow On, and typically, I use, I use this one as well as this one. I love the copper highlighter. Like copper highlighters, I feel like look really good on my skin tone. So I'm actually just gonna use the copper color one because I'm gonna use another one for my blush highlighter. And y'all will see that later. So I'll take my brush I got from Morph. It's the M5110. Um, I wanted to get like a regular highlighter brush that's like fland, that's like fland, that's fanned out. I cannot speak today. Um, but one of the girls said this is a really good one to use. So I've just been using it ever since. So let me go ahead and slap that on my face. I like to put some in my brow bone. And I'm pulling from that, from this to go in my brow bone. Now, this is what I'm super excited about. It's by Fenty Beauty. It's um, the Kilowatt collection in What a Brat. It's so pretty. I don't know if I saw Nikki Tutorials use it or Jackie Ina use it, but it is so pretty. I love how the pink and copper mix together. It's so pretty. And as you know, I live for the Clinique mascara. It's my favorite. I've been using it for years. I feel like you can freaking see my bottom lashes. So well. Okay, and then I am going to use Kat Von D's anti-precision pencil, smoky eyeliner. And trooper and I'll line the top of my waterline and my bottom waterline lash time now what am I gonna use for lashes so I use these and I doubled them up if y'all want to see like how I do my lashes step by step I'll put 
the link in the info bar. So here is the almost finished look. I have to go eat, so <laughs> I'll be back when I have my hair did and everything, and I'll come back and do my lips, and I also got to do my toes, so. <laughs> Bye, y'all. So I am now on my way to get my hair did. Also eating breakfast. it looks nice and sassy like me so now I'm gonna head home and do my toenails and finish the rest of my makeup so catch y'all later bye so this is what I'm gonna paint my piggly wigglies I'm gonna start with the base and top coat I'm gonna go to Etsy Etsy's lilacism and then I'm gonna go with the OPI Hello Kitty collab. Um, it's called a Hush a Blush. And then I'll top it off with the Essie um, gel top coat. So, yeah. And I'm gonna wear gloves to protect my nails so I don't have to worry about getting fingernail polish remover on them. Hey, hey, so I'm back. I finally got my hair done. My makeup's almost complete. Um, I got a little piece of my birthday suit on. Um, but as you can see, I'm greasy all up in here. So I'm going to pat that down a little bit, put my lipstick on, add my beauty marks back on my face, and then I will be good to go for the big reveal. I'm so excited. So typically, I just use my sponge to dab the grease away. All right, so I couldn't find, <laughs> I could not find Vampira by NYX. This is another one. This is Copenhagen by NYX. I'm not gonna use this, but I usually like to use Vampira and Copenhagen together. Um, so, I said I wanted like a darker purpley color. I might just end up doing current, but I don't want to use current. Um, cyber maybe. Let's see how it looks. So I'm gonna line my lips with Cyber by Mac. And then this is from Mac's holiday collection. I love this so much. Um, it's called Starstruck, and like, look at it. It has stars all over it. I love it. It's so pretty. So yeah, I'm gonna use that in the middle. That looks good. I'm excited. <laughs> yes. Um. Oh, my mole. Going to use. Dagger Tattoo Liner. And this is my completed look. Give it a thumbs up. Tell me what you think in the comments. So now I'll get on the rest of my jewelry. I'll put on my skirt and my heels, take some pictures so y'all can see. So this is my completed look. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you wanna see me do more Get Ready With Me's, please leave it in the comments. If there's anything that I can improve on with my vlogging, make sure to leave that in the comments as well. Make sure to follow me on all my social media at Anna Samira, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!